Astronomy in the Night Sky, brought to you by Ancient and Medieval Adventures at the Museum of Antiquities. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. On this Astronomy in Night Sky presentation, we will be exploring outer space and learn about how ancient civilizations understood the cosmos. What you will learn today will be out of this world. Imagine that it's 5,000 years ago and you are alive. Clocks and modern calendars have not yet been invented. How would you know what time it is? Do you know when your birthday is? Would you know if it's a week away? Ever wonder what ancient societies did without a clock? How did they tell time? We can use astronomy to answer all of these questions. One way to tell the passage of time is to study the movement of the stars, planets, and the moon. In fact, studying the ancient skies was so important that ancient people built observatories all around the world. An observatory is a place to observe space. They used these observatories to study and observe the night sky. This study of the night sky eventually became the science of astronomy. Today, astronomy is known as the study of the universe. People in ancient cultures used astronomy for many different purposes. They used it to know when to plant and harvest crops. They used astronomy to determine the seasons, an important factor in knowing when to plant crops and in understanding the length of the year. They also used it to figure out whether it would be safe to travel. There had to be a nearly full moon present since it would be the only lighting for nighttime travel. Finally, it can be used to explain and understand nature and the passage of the seasons. We know what astronomy was used for generally, but this might look different for all ancient civilizations that made use of astronomy. Let's explore astronomy within ancient societies, beginning with ancient Chinese astronomy. The main purpose of astronomical observations was timekeeping. By keeping track of their time, the Chinese developed a working calendar and kept careful track of comets, eclipses, sunspots, and star charts. The main job of Chinese astronomers was to chart time, announce the first day of every month, and predict lunar eclipses. Now let's talk about some theories that ancient civilizations had about the universe. The Ptolemaic theory about the universe was the most popular theory in the West for 1500 years. In the Ptolemaic system, the planet Earth was the center of the universe and all of the other planets and the sun revolved around it. This theory was developed in 150 CE by Ptolemy, a Greek astronomer. Using earlier astronomical knowledge and some mathematical calculations, Ptolemy eventually wrote a book about this theory. However, this theory was proven wrong by Nicholas Copernicus in 1543 CE. Next, let's talk about astronomy during the Golden Age of Islam. The measurement of celestial distances became increasingly accurate due to Islam's tradition of academic pursuit, building on the knowledge and discoveries made earlier by ancient Greek and Near Eastern scholars. By 850, Al-Fargani published his book, A Compendium of the Science of Stars. Al-Fargani provided new information about space and time. Some of the new information provided in his book included estimates for the circumference of the Earth, corrections to some of the earlier astronomical works, and he provided tables for the movements of the sun, moon, and stars, and the five known planets at the time. Another important development in astronomy is the heliocentric theory, which was developed by Nicholas Copernicus. He was a Polish astronomer that revolutionized astronomy with his new theory in 1543 CE. The heliocentric theory states that the sun is at the center of the universe, and all of the planets, including Earth, orbit the sun. It was proven that the heliocentric theory correctly explained the movement of the planets around the sun. Today, it's taught in schools all around the world. The heliocentric theory was proven correct using telescopes. The invention of the telescope by Galileo played an important role in advancing our understanding of Earth's place in the cosmos. More than 400 years ago, Galileo Galilei built the first telescope. He used the telescope to study space and make important discoveries, such as craters and mountains on Earth's moon, four of Jupiter's moons, and sunspots on the Sun and the phases of Venus. Since then, scientists have used telescopes to make most astronomical observations and discoveries. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed this lesson on astronomy and the night sky. Please check out our other lessons at Ancient and Medieval Adventures Online. Thank you.